them. So there, there's very limited AD yeah, carry. He, just through his individual skill alone, somehow he can overcome draft loss and disadvantages in lanes and all this other stuff. To the face, which broke him. Yeah, that was a one on. Thank you, fellas. <laughs> uh, Len's in a bit of trouble here. He did not want to flash. I think if you're going to flash, just flash early. You got to get on the other side of that pillar. I didn't even realize at the end of all of that that he was on top of Ward. I don't know what Jarvan's doing. What? Uh. <laughs> Now Kube is here and is going to force the fight under the turret. That's a turret shot. Summit is going to die. Summit with a flank. I don't know what they're doing. Okay, trying to set up this knockup as Kube is just going straight hit first in. As they're going 2v5 what? for so long on this one. Tempt was so late to the fight as he took the extreme oh my. Uh, backdoor approach to getting into this one. And now it is going all the direction. Of, uh, oh. well, actually, it's Kube. It's all the direction of Kube. Wow, I, Dragon. Veldas, I will, uh, I did actually just recheck my notes here. Yeah, that is not something that you want to do. Okay, well, Kube. Oh, uh, Kube is just going to be bopped down just like that. And the Tarak ultimate comes in as, yeah, Emperor's Divide to get away from this one. Summit in the front line with full health, just going to dominate them. A real mess of a team fight coming in there from Hanwha Life as all the flashes are going to be picked up and they take down three. It's going to be played out in this manner as, speaking of which, Kube going for another trade here. Never afraid, it seems. But he's got to worry about this pillar that should be coming in as he's just going to try to turn around as, what? oh boy. I think he tried to get behind them but failed and is now 1v2 and is looking pretty rough to predict which angle she's going to come from and how exactly to approach this straight. But they are going to try. Kuve spotted with the ward now. We'll see where he wants to come from. He's going to join his team once again. The knockup by Gorilla not going to work out. And here we go, getting into the back line, trying to force the Featherstorm. And there it is, as now Summit getting into the back line himself. The Ocean Drake will go the way of Sandbox. As Kuve all alone in the backside is just going to go down. Summit still somehow alive here as oh, oh, he's just out of range for Tempt. He actually was able to beat this as now Dove might go down, but no, is able to flash away with his W as a very all over the place team fight is once again going to go the way of Sandbox as a double kill and the Ocean Drake staying up at least from these trades. But we do have Rakan coming down here. This trade is going to be taken by Summit, easily able to sidestep that Haymaker as well, with the Rakan coming up here. And I think the only way that Hanwha Life can possibly win here is an ace at this team fight into Ocean Capture Ooh, into okay. Baron. Well, <laughs> the Darvin's just gonna die as the ultimate is not going to get there on time and Rakan gets into the back line. Tempt is trying to get in there with his shield, is barely staying alive, but Punch is going to punch him in the back there and to finish him off. Lehens, the only one left alive, he is looking Absolutely outrageous, at least. Okay, just trying to go for one last desperate engage. They are going to get on top of Root, but he's got the best item in the game, Mr. Stopwatch, and he also is Zaya. So he's able to disengage. After that, everybody's being picked off on the side of Hanwha Light. Down will go Summit. But they have a massive wave down here in the bottom side, and they're going to use that to push on and take the victory. Not a very close game number two. We were actually hyping up on the life and saying that they should be able to win this one as they're actually not going to finish the game. Buffer, although there's not a whole bunch okay. of skill shots going on try here. Try for it once again, but Gorilla is going to get in the back line. Great engage, and the Emperor's Divide not able to do anything when you're this far behind. You don't even have turrets to help you out, as this will be the clean ace going the way of Sandbox as they will force a game number three up against Hanwha Life here, showing them who is boss. And they take down the Nexus, as Summit crushed in the top lane, even after he did not have a yep. great start.